victory away at Metz a week ago was Trois' first of the campaign. They welcome Montpellier to the Stade de l'Orbe in high spirits, hoping to make it back-to-back -back wins for the first time of the season. The visitors took three points against Saint-Étienne last time around, and victory in this one could move them to within reach of European places. The last time Trois won against Montpellier was almost 20 years ago, a 2-0 victory at the time in this ground in 2002. A special day for Valère Germain, who celebrates his 250th top flight appearance. Only Jimmy Briand currently has more as an active forward in the championship. Umla was called into action early in the game. But a save you would expect the Montpellier goalkeeper to make. Montpellier responded. And a good diving save by Gallon denying any dangerous opportunity for the visitors. A good tackle sent Trois on their way. Johan Tuzga scoring from close range. His second goal of the campaign. The Tunisian with a good strike, but it's all about the tackle that wins back the ball. And this cross, brilliant cross. And the striker really with nothing but the job, perhaps some would say the hardest job of putting the ball in the back of the net. Suke responded and almost got the equaliser for Montpellier before the break. But his shots crashed against the post. 1-0 at half-time as Olivier Dallolio watched on. Laurent Batles. The coach watching on as his team started the second half the way they'd ended the first. Another good opportunity. And Tuzgar should have scored. Trois second of the afternoon. His header sailing over the crossbar. But Umla was probably beaten on that occasion. Matters were made worse for the visitors. As Brazilian Tula was sent off for two bookable offences. That one for a raised foot, you'll see it on the replay, correct decision by the referee. And for that foul earlier in the match on Tuzgar. But Montpellier responded through Teji Savanye. Savanye, the captain, scoring a captain's goal. Controls the ball well. Tucks it past the goalkeeper. And that reaction from Laurent Batles at the end of the match says it all. Trois dominated the game, but despite having a man advantage, conceded a late goal to Montpellier to share the points at the Stade de l'Ouvre.